Hello and welcome to Give Him 15 for Wednesday, November the 25th. And as you can see, I'm still recording these in hotel rooms around the country. Today's Give Him 15 is entitled Fighting for Life. We were in Wisconsin last night contending for accurate election results, contending in prayer. One of the major reasons this election matters so much is the issue of abortion. We know that God honors the choosing of life for the unborn. We also know that the shedding of innocent blood brings a curse on the land. In this Give Him 15, with former Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker discusses how the election of pro-life leaders ensures life for the unborn. He made these comments on a Students for Life Facebook post. As we continue to pray for Wisconsin and other states' election results, allow the Lord to renew your commitment to the unborn babies. He says, when my wife, Tanette, was pregnant with our firstborn, we proudly showed off his first baby photo. It was his ultrasound picture. Our son, Matt, was turned on his side you could see him holding his hand up to his mouth and sucking his thumb. We were both pro-life before that, but seeing that image of a living human being at just a few weeks old, able to perform human actions, made it crystal clear that life is the only choice. During the eight years before I was sworn in as the governor of Wisconsin, the state had a pro-abortion governor. It did not matter that we had strong pro-life majorities in both houses of the state legislature. A pro-abortion person in that position has the power to block common sense pro-life legislation. During my time as governor of Wisconsin, I proudly signed a bill into law that requires everyone seeking an abortion to be shown an ultrasound image of their unborn baby. The hope was that when a woman felt stuck, women who were in crisis and women who felt as though abortion was their only option would recognize the humanity of the life growing inside of them. When people realize that abortion stops a beating heart, we save lives. I was able to sign multiple pieces of pro-life legislation into law and almost certainly saved countless lives. We defunded Planned Parenthood in our first budget and put the money into non-controversial programs that truly help women's health. We prioritized life-affirming women's services over pro-abortion pregnancy services. We encouraged other lawmakers to support pro-life measures, speak at pro-life events, and even speak in the media for pro-life ideas. It's not always easy Pro-life elected officials often face tremendous pressure from the media, sometimes even from donors, to back away from pro-life positions. But standing up for pro-life officials can literally be the difference between life and death. It is so important to affirm pro-life officials, give them support, encourage them, and organize others to do the same. We're winning the battles to protect life all across America. But we can't stop now. Too many unborn children are counting on us. All it takes is one elected official to say no more in order to save countless lives. You can find all states' positions on abortion by the there's a place here on the Giving 15 printed page to, to tap the, the word here and, and pull up all the state's positions. Psalms 127, 3, 4, and 5 say children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from Him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them, they will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. Here are a few things to think about as you uh, prepare yourself to pray for a few minutes today. First of all, recommit yourself 
to this issue of life. That's very important. Recommit yourself to this issue. And then identificationally repent for the sin in your state and in America. Ask God to raise up more elected leaders like former Governor Scott Walker who will stand firmly against abortion, working to defund it and end it. And I might add, like President Trump, who has done a marvelous job of defending life. Declare Psalm 127, verses 3, 4, and 5, which we just read. Know your state's position on abortion so you can continue to actively pursue the ending of it there in your state. And here's a prayer you could pray. Let's pray this together now. God, we cannot come to you enough over the issue of life for the unborn of America. We are appalled by it and we refuse to tolerate it. This heinous and idolatrous practice must end. We have fed the, the demonic principality, Molech, millions of our innocent offspring. We've sacrificed at his altar for selfish re reasons. We've also done so out of fear, shame, inconvenience, and threat. This has gone on so long now that our hearts and consciences have grown calloused. A movement has actually been born to rejoice over abortion. Others defiantly and selfishly declare that they could never have been successful had they borne your gift of a child. Dear Lord, forgive us. Thank you for raising up those we can elect to public office like President Trump that will stand for the life of the unborn. He is the most pro-life president we have ever had. Please give him a second term to help us further eradicate this heinous practice. Joe Biden approves of killing unborn babies all the way up to the time of birth. Lord, please don't allow this man with this unconscionable belief to sit in the Oval Office. Please, Lord, don't let that happen. Let the laws of our land shift toward life at both the federal and state levels. Let government funding for abortion be completely cut off, Lord. Help us to cause that to happen. Convict both men and women regarding this issue. Abortion must end in America, and we say, Children are a blessing from you, Lord. They are our heritage, and we are blessed when you give them to us. We will contend against the, the opponents of life and continue to stand for the babies. In Jesus' name, amen. And today's decree is America chooses life. We will elect leaders who will end abortion in America. Thank you very much. Keep praying. This is why we're fighting so much in this election for truth and for the exposure of all fraud. There's a lot on the line and nothing more important than the baby. God bless you. Thanks.